and the entire thing will be encased in scaffolding, which is often the case. Last year, at least one of these towers, right, Jared, remember? Uh, one of these towers, I have a picture in my bag, was encased in <coughs> scaffolding. The worst year was when we came, and I told the students on the Tuesday how beautiful this was. Uh, and we got here, well, the day before, I got the newspaper and read that they had just drained the lake. Oh. Because, of course, that's how you clean it. And so instead, we got here, and it was mud, fish, and dead fish, and really very stinky. You know? So that's why I don't say anything on Tuesday. I mean, you know where you're coming. You've got the information. What I want to say right now is that, uh, obviously, there's a prehistory to this, but the form of the castle as it is now is very much from the time of August the Strong, right? He's the one who gave it this, uh, this particular look, if you like. It was already, though, a hunting lodge. Uh, lodge. <laughs> it's a big-ass lodge. A hunting lodge um, at the time of Moritz. Right? The, what, what was Moritz's nickname? <coughs> Albert. Albert. Moritz. Remember what Moritz did? These papers are going to be really grabby. He ordered the uh, uh, the, uh, the fort, uh, fortifications. He did order the fortifications. Good. What else did he do? You're right. Moritz. Moritz is the one who gets the electorship by fighting on the side of the Holy Roman. <laughs> so, what was his nickname? Judas, uh, um, Mycin. Mycin. Judas of Mycin. He's the only one who's getting an A. I guarantee you. I guarantee it. Right now. You might as well you just give up. 